guy is grappling with me is I'm going to come underneath his arm here. I'm going to get his elbow. And the only thing you need to do in this instance is keep your arm relaxed and attached to his elbow and rotate, keeping your arm close to you this way. And just turn, mm -hmm. just turn. Don't try to take him away. Don't try to knock him away. Just turn. Right now, what, what happens is his elbow starts to try to have to support all of his body weight. Mm. So the larger someone is, the more force is going to be locking out and breaking their elbow, right? Mm. So when you come, come here and you just rotate here, it'll go. Because all the force goes there. It's not even anything that you really have to do. Your arm is, is actually pinned up against my body. I have your arm this way. As I turn, you feel the mm -hmm. pressure? You have to go. It's, a, it's like, whoa, yes, I'm exactly. going. I'm going or it's going to be issue. So what you don't have to do is create force. You use the natural positioning. You use physics, right? It looks, it, it looks like I'm doing something here, but I'm actually placing it here. Your positioning is doing almost all of the work. This is just making sure it stays where it needs to be. It's not like I'm pressing down and I'm pulling up. That's force for me. I'm not pressing down and I'm not pulling up. This hand is just making sure that this stays where I need it to stay in order for the physics to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I come across here, and so see right there, I, see, I know that's bad. Yeah. So, so I know it's bad. <laughs> and that's all it takes. So if you're in grappling, and boom, and you hit somebody, or you boom, or you just grapple and you sneak your arm down, and you put it there, and this one again.